This is going to be our color wheel worksheet. We are going to paint primary colors today. And our primary colors are actually our three main colors on the color wheel. Um, our three primary colors are actually red, yellow, and blue. Now all the other colors are actually made from these three colors. So orange, violet, and green are actually secondary colors and they're made from our primaries. Primary means main color. So today we're, we are only going to focus on red, yellow, and blue. There will be no paint mixing with this. Now to the left, I have a very detailed color wheel. This is what a color wheel usually looks like. Um, we're only going to focus on our primaries and you can see that yellow is always found at the top, blue is always found to the right, and red is always found to the left. All of these secondary and intermediate colors are not our concern. Now, first thing on my worksheet, I'm going to be writing my name. And you will be writing that with pencil. I'm going to write it with marker so that you can see. I would like to see 2G. And at the bottom, you're going to go ahead and write your primary colors before you even get paint. Red, yellow, blue. Do not forget to write your primaries here. We can leave the secondary colors blank for today. We will be working on paint mixing and secondary colors for next start period. Some kids will take their pencil and mark where they need to have the yellow at the top. You're totally welcome, Holden, to do that. You're welcome to write an R for the left and a B for the right. Some kids need that so that they can get those in the right spot. Wyatt, our next step is to have paper towel with us for blotting. We are not going to need a mixing tray. We can actually work right from the paint cup. So I'm moving that. I have my water. And at your table, you may have the confusing <coughs> tray of paints. If your paints aren't separated with your red, see red is written on the lid. It's not always the color of the lid. So red, B for blue, and yellow is written here. So you may have to separate that off your tray. Do not open any of your other colors. I'm going to open yellow. And everybody be warned, yellow's been used by first grade and kindergarten. Look, there's a streak of red there. I'm going to say that much red is not going to change the color and a little bit of green there. I'm actually going to dip, and I don't need to wet my paintbrush with liquid tempera. I'm gonna dip my paintbrush where it's clean, okay? I probably should have rinsed my paintbrush before I dipped. I'm trusting that the kid yesterday rinsed their paintbrush off, right? Maybe they didn't. Let's test. I hope they did. It looks good. When you paint, I know it will be difficult, but I would like for you to carefully stay in the lines. Make your worksheet look neat. And now I can rinse, and I'm just um, swirling it in the bottom. I'm not tapping, but even when I lift that up, you can see there's still yellow paint on that paintbrush and dirty water. So it's very impor important to blot, but I am going to rinse the second time. Now I got it, and then blot. I'm not pulling the bristles out, I'm just kind of folding the paper towel over it. That actually looks pretty good. Now I'm going for my red and it looks better. I'm gonna take a little bit of red. Oh, that says I'm going blue. So I need to have red on the left. 
stay in the lines. It didn't. It doesn't take much paint to actually fill in your primaries today. Okay, now I got that done. Rinse. I'm swishing it. I actually made orange with my water. Still have red paint on that paintbrush. You can really see it when I hold it up to the paper towel. So I'm going to blot it. That's really dirty water, right? So it's very important, important that I rinse again. I can swish it around and that looks better. Okay, I wanna go to blue. And you will find for today, blue is actually almost a turquoise blue. And it is actually a powdered paint blue. So there's a little bit of water on top. That is not bad paint. It just means that the water settled on top and the heavier particles of the powdered paint went to the bottom. So you got permission to stir that up and it's gonna be a little runnier, but it's a very pretty blue. In fact, it's almost a match to that kind of blue. So don't shake your paint cups. Don't um, don't tip them when you're, if you have to carry a, a paint cup, the yogurt lids don't always stay on tight. Um, another thing you want to avoid, a lot of kids want a tidy workspace, so they'll put their paint cup right on the lid, but sometimes these lids, you know, somebody hasn't followed directions and the paint's gotten tipped and we have messy lids. So you just put the paint lid to the side. That's okay. Now, this is all you need to do today. I have my name on it. I have my class identification. I also have my primary color yellow, primary color blue to the right, and my red prim primary color here. And before I even did that, I actually wrote my primary colors here.